Pedro Castillo is not officially winner of Peru's runoff election, but Paloma Duarte is among those already celebrating. This campaign has shown the most vulnerable people, the poorest, the forgotten. Now they are the protagonists, and it is important that a rural teacher from a rural school becomes president in such an unfair country like Peru. With 98% of the votes counted, Pedro Castillo is ahead of Keiko Fujimori by more than 100,000 votes. The overseas and rural vote will define the election. The ballots have to physically get to the capital, and it is likely many will be contested. Castillo is set to win the crucial rural vote, consolidating his victory. With little left to count, on Monday, Keiko Fujimori did not concede. Instead, she said there were indications of planned and systematic fraud. A series of irregularities have been occurring and we are worried. We think it's important to show this and call on other people to help us know if there are more irregularities, as it has been revealing these past days. International and transparency monitors have been observing the electoral process. They say the runoff election developed without any major incidents. Right now, there is no indication or the possibility of fraud. Not one. Fraud is a systematic and general intention to ignore the will of the people, and there is no way that is happening. Keiko Fujimori may not be able to turn around Castillo's lead. The race was marked by a campaign that polarized the nation. The daughter of the autocratic former leader Alberto Fujimori may lose the presidency for the third time. But until all the votes are counted, both parties are set to defend the support they've got. Mariana Sánchez, Al Jazeera, Lima, Perú.